that synagogue of Satan, which has white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, prostitutes, and the Christian right, with your blindness to that wicked state of Israel. How in the hell can that be the Holy Land? And you have gay parades and want to permit to have a gay parade in Jerusalem when no prophet ever sanctioned that behavior. How can that be the Israel? How can that be Jerusalem? with secular people running the Holy Land when it should be the holy people running the Holy Land. That land is going to be cleansed with blood. And when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, flee from the mountaintops. Is Jerusalem surrounded by armies now? Yes, sir. These neocons and Zionists have manipulated Bush and the American government. Right, right. And our boys and girls are dying in Iraq and in Afghanistan for the cause of Israel, not for the cause of America. Right. Israel is the tail wagging the dog, which is America. You may not like me, and I really don't give a damn. I'm throwing the gauntlet down today. If God be God, then if it pleases him to save me from your wrath, it's all right. But I'm warning you, America. You killed your last prophet, but you will not kill me. And the moment you try, I'm going to tell you what God is about to bring down on this wicked whore, Babylon. Don't you be afraid for me because I'm afraid for you. In the book of Genesis, when it said, I'm going to make you a great nation, it's not talking about some Jews in Israel. It's you. God is saying, I'm going to make you a great nation. And I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to make your name great. And you will be a blessing to white people, to brown people to the peoples of the earth and I will bless them that bless you. I'm telling you, President Bush, you blessing the wrong Israel, baby. This is the Israel that if you bless this one, God will bless you. But if you continue to curse them, you are on your way to hell and your government is going with you. You are the people of God. God is going to fight a battle over you. He hewed the stone out of the mountain without hands, but to hew it, you got to throw something down that will produce some pain, some hurt. They're not giving you up without a fight. 
they know your future. And that's why Isaiah the prophet said, shall the prey be delivered from the mighty and the lawful captive be delivered? Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? You are a prey in the hands of white people, but God is going to take you away from them. You don't want to leave them, but he's going to take you in spite of your sick love of your former slave master. You shall be delivered. A mighty God has come. A Savior. The scripture said he is Christ the Lord. One anointed with power to crush the wicked. It will take a mighty deliverer to deliver you from this enemy. Now in my conclusion, and this is the only conclusion, I usually have 35 of them, like my Baptist preacher friends. But in my conclusion, the seven heads and the ten horns. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said those ten horns represents ten nations in South America that will lend their power to the beast. But then a time is coming when they will take their power from the beast and they will hate the whore and make her desolate. Now if you look at the news, seven nations already in South America have turned on her neighbor from the north. I'm telling you what Elijah Muhammad taught me. I ain't nothing without that man teaching me, but I'm telling you what he said. Now read the newspaper. Venezuela. Hugo Chavez. Argentina. Kirsner. Bolivia. Evo Morales. People coming up from the indigenous that never had power. There's seven of them down there, but this is an election year, and there's somebody coming up in Mexico. In Mexico. Who don't love the gringo. Now, when the president went down to a recent conference to talk about CAFTA, they ran him out of there. Hugo Chavez, third largest oil producer, took $10 billion and bailed out Argentina with the international MF, I mean, mo <laughs> monetary fund. <laughs> I'm trying to behave. Have you read the book, The Confessions of an Economic Hitman? Go get it and see what your government does all over the world to suck the natural resources of the people of the world. But these 10, there's three more to go. He said they will hate the whore and make her desolate. Europe turning on America because arrogant Bush Arrogant Bush. Oh, wow. We're over time. You're damn right. You are over time. 
Your time is up and so is mine. And so, America's going to widen the wall. She's after Iran now. Why shouldn't Iran have nuclear power? Iran hasn't captured anybody, mistreated her neighbors. England got it. France got it. America got it. And all the darker people of the world have suffered under their rule. So to hell with them. If Iran wants it, why not? And I'm warning you, President, keep your hands off Iran. Because if you touch Iran, you're going to run into something that you hadn't thought about. I warned you about this with Iraq, and you're still over there, and they're going to hold your foot to the fire. You're not getting out. I'm warning you, America, you better get rid of them neocons. That's the synagogue of Satan. They have made America weak. You're a weak nation now, and your country has been taken from you by the synagogue of Satan. They own Congress. That's why the Congress ain't right. But he came with a government on his shoulders. And now, brothers and sisters, they're going to come after me. Listen, just listen, listen. You remember Elijah Muhammad taught us about a wheel. And Elijah Muhammad taught us about that great wheel that's in the sky that Ezekiel saw in 500. 95 BC that had eyes all around it and it was a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night Well, that wheel is real now. It was a vision then, but it's real now It has 1500 bombing claims on it and it is there for the destruction of this world now I'm, the, I'm gonna leave it with this They've all been lying to you. The government has been holding back from the American people the truth of what you call unidentified flying objects. But listen, listen, listen! You're seeing squadrons of them old now over Madrid and Spain and Milan and Italy, over Mexico City, over Brazil and the Brazilian government has said they no longer are gonna hold back the truth from the people they're gonna tell them that these planes do exist and before you can address me as a lying uh, man that is filled with madness you will start seeing these planes over the major cities of America and I'm telling you brother and sister you don't have a damn thing to fear but your fear of your enemy you need to fear the God that's about to bring down his wrath on a country that has earned the wrath of God Now, just as it was in the time of Moses, when the death plague came over, Pharaoh decided to let him go. And then all of a sudden, he had a change of mind and sent the army out to kill Moses and the children of Israel. The government has had about all they can stand about me. My lawyer back then knows that for the last 20 some odd years, they've been trying to pull me before their courts of law, charging me with murder. They even now talking about a, a grand jury indictment of the minister for the murder of Brother Malcolm. I don't give a damn what you do. Bring it on. Come on and bring it on. Because when you bring it on, God is going to bring it on. Your days are over. The black man is going to go free, never again to be under your wicked rule.
and I'm going to help God push these damn devils Go ahead. into hell. Thank you for listening. May Allah bless you as I greet you in peace. Assalamu alaikum. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. All praises due to Allah. Happy Savior's Day. Let's hear it for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the message that he just delivered to all of us that has come from God himself. All praises. Beloved, am I still on? Can you cut it back on?